Greetings and salutations, my name is Kodosel and welcome back to Stellaris, where we are playing Space Dutch. Space Netherlands. Well, whatever. By the way, I did test in another um, single player thingy. It is Special indeed the primary color that dictates the border, as well as the color of your ships and stations, um, and your secondary color that determines the filling of your borders. So in hindsight, I wish I really, I really do wish I had chosen double orange. But, you know, this has its charm as well. So, we have completed a special project, apparently we did one. The team under Science Officer Hotus, uh, Hostus Atreus have finished their expedition on Fulbadon 5A and returned to the SP, SN, SDN Dionysus Dionysus. No, it's, a, it's a point, not a comma. Thankfully, the Starship Graveyard on the surface proved to be a technological tra treasure. All oh, right, Space Yard. Space Yard? Starship Graveyard. It's definitely not Space Yard. I'm all discompopulated. My apologies. Studying the remains of these vessels have advanced our research in certain fields by several years, and there are yet things to discover. A permanent science outpost in orbit would be a great boon to our Starship engineering efforts. Well, it's actually more than a year, so yeah, fair enough. And it um, leveled up my uh, my dude guy. Good. Now both of them are level four. So this double ass. This guy will probably be level five before she will be. Um. Good reinforce. Oh, that, that's the expensive reinforcements. Um, probably should though. Should really get those fleets uh, going. Mm. System yeah, reconnaissance completed. Um, one of the great things, actually, uh, signs of activity by ancient precursor civilization. I love these new icons. Likes it to say, oh, you have a building can be upgraded. That's nice. Thank you. I'm not going to do it right now, but thank you. Uh, look, you can build more stuff here. And, oh, we need to be repaired. I love that. I really, really do. I do expect some of my people to actually migrate to the new colony once it uh, starts. Oh, that does save a lot of, lots of energy credits. Still about the fact that it's only one lower land credits give me on a size 16 planet how tiny do planets have to be to allow for more than that well nothing I can do about it let's keep cracking and let's actually also do that Are you now actively being repaired? Yeah. Fully being repaired. Great. Um, that's a lot of engineering. New sit rep. Um, level four, higher. Research that project. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Yay! First, a very first colony. Free engineering science. Fort Oranje. System reconnaissance completed. There are so many great systems I could call, could, could grab, but I just don't have the fleet power to do it. So sad. Oh, it's actually upgrading to the full 12 now, or not? No. Still need to be... Uh... Oh no, it's already being reinforced to full strength. Amazing. That means I will soon begin a second fleet. So if the dogs and the corvettes, the Zwaarde, 
that this is going to be. Um, well, for now, it's going to be so. Construction sold. complete. Can you retrofit it? That's amazing. Just be like, oh, I want to change every type of that into that. That's really cool. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I could reinforce this. Anomaly oh, found. Well, let's wait on that. Um, sure, research a weird asteroid. Do we have like something like Special a lot of energy complete. grids? We do. Please do that. Um, the archaeologists investigating the derelict youth cruiser above Zafa 7A have transmitted their report. There are two large cryo chambers in the cruiser's midsection designed to house one youth each in suspended animation. Given the massive size of youth individuals, this was apparently the standard crew complement of vessels of this size. No youth remains were found anywhere on the ship. But the archaeologist managed to recover logs from a computer that monitored the life signs and medical conditions of the crew. It provides valuable data on youth physiology. Why does it give engineering? I'd say it gives society, but oh well. I'm fine with it because my society is so much better than the other two. Do the observation posts. Encounter in Procyon. Procyon. Interesting. These Science are actually... Success. Uh, we have encountered our very first bogey. We should research that, definitely. <laughs> it takes two months, so... We have discovered gene clinics. Uh, we should probably get on with some tar... Wow, this tar blocker is difficult to remove. And we have completed fusion missiles. Coil guns. <laughs> yes. And also let's upgrade these ships. Boop. And then upgrade our ships. Ships refitted. Awesome. Okay, Toad Asteroid, we've seen that plenty of times. Lots of asteroids being towed in the galaxy. And they came from somewhere over yonder. Curious to see who will meet and how big they will be. Permanent communications have been established with an alien empire. After successfully testing the language, we have established communication with the Kanthari despoilers. <laughs> um, well, this is um, interesting. The only difference really is that they are fanatic militarists and we are just militarists together with uh, cinephile phobes. I bring greetings from Warlord Fopfa, if, I don't know, the undisputed ruler of the Cathari Despoilers. Respect our borders and keep out of our affairs and perhaps our mighty fleets will refrain from visiting your worlds. <sighs> your kind will not threaten our precedent. Keep out of our way or we will make you. We will fight for our right to exist, Kanthari. We will achieve unity, do not stand in our way. Keep out of our way or we'll make you. The news that we have encountered intelligent, intelligent alien life for the first time has shaken our society to the core. Leaked footage of these bizarre creatures is spreading through media outlets across the Verenigde Republic de Nederlandse Sterren and many citizens have been gripped by panic. Rioting has been reported in several cities in Ireland. The strange genos appear to have achieved a level of technology similar to our own, and they are clearly spacefaring. Whether they regard our species with fear, hatred, or cold indifference is anyone's guess, and we should assume the worst. 
the Cathari Disporters can now use the Desperation case causes battle against us. And we cannot use the <laughs> Desperation causes battle against the Cathari Disporters. Ah, uh, they have three planets. Ouch. And they're they're quite sizable, actually. And they close up all this. Well, we can actually form an aggression pact. They would do that. Why would you do that? More rage to plunder. Okay. Not that I'm going to do it, just to go to see what what that I I, I have I have no idea. I can claim. I don't know what these systems are. I, it's, it's all completely new to me. Um, why are you receptive though? Border fiction, xeno xenophobic bigots, closed borders, same authorities. I want to keep my borders closed, but sure, let's form an non-aggressive pact for now. It's not going to stay that way forever, but at least for now, um, maybe to relax complete. a little bit. Okay, then expand this way. So this is... It's probably wise to build up completed. something over here, but... Nice uh, technology in this system. Technology? Science. And I see I can't quite build both fleets. Yet. Because that increases by the amount of pops, apparently. And also you can upgrade uh, space shipyards. Starbase is all the way down there. Hmm. Uh, we're going to have to fiddle with the outliner again. Ah, this is so frustrating. I do want it below military fleets. I want integration like yay low. Disabled alerts. Even lower. I, 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 mm. This is going to drive me insane. That will do. System reconnaissance completed. Look at that, a gateway. Well, that's very useful, isn't it? <laughs> you can instantly travel between any gateways that are activated. Great, that saves me literally one jump. That's... Well, it's, it's the most useless gateway I've ever seen, but it's also the first gateway couple I have seen, so... Yeah... Oh, oh, good luck with that. That's gonna spawn pirates. <laughs> this little black hole on their border. I did close my borders for him, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. I don't want him snooping around. Construction complete. We have peace. Recon yes. Completed. But not. Um, it's, it's like a tenuous peace. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to kill you because you could probably kill me. That's a lot of science in a desert world. You know, as long as I don't activate these things, <laughs> no one's going to be able to use them. Yeah, 
Oscar is still the uh, the polar opposite of uh, Kruk Ba. Could actually upgrade you with an anchorage. Construction complete. Well, it's not like I'm anywhere near actually being able to um, produce uh, fleets big enough <laughs> to produce a second fleet. I could if I would just stop expanding and save up my resources, but now I would do that. So slow. Anomaly found. Yeah, I do find it kind of funny like that. But the first aliens we encounter are actually other despoilers. Okay, could be buildings on the surface, go investigate it. They have four planets. Jeez. Yeah. Whereas I uh, there is was a way to see that. 13 across two worlds and they have 18 across all worlds that's uh, uh well it's very clear where the difference was in the in priorities <clears throat> what the sdn uh, anaximander found on fianita 5 were not buildings but surprisingly regular mine mineral outcroppings science officer mamerica senius asserts uh, these angular blocks of rock are the product of interaction between tectonic plates. Their shapes, the result of the unusual tectonophysics inherent to the planet's crust. The, perfectly angular the perfect angularity of these thrust folds implies the possibility of aliens tampering with the crust at some point in this past. Uh, plus three engineering, plus six physics to a single planet. That makes that system even more viable than Poz Pozuno. But Pozuno is technically system closer. Completed. The negotiations for appointing a new warlord run away. You could. It's not a warlord, it's for like, you know. Um, yeah, it's a warlord, but you're also a bandit commune. You're also an oligarchy. I mean. The odds. You could actually be, you know, good friends if you just take enough time not to kill each other. Is this a single? Oh, it is. Uh, let's get that because I am going to need a lot of um, energy credits actually. Right. Uh, let's take a look at our candidates for the election. Um, I could spend the influence to choose one. Um, I've got. It would be nice if it said what, like, just a scientist. Well, actually, the clothing and background says that, doesn't it? Um, you're a scientist because of your clothing. You're. Governor? Okay, you're old. Xenophobe attraction, pure. <laughs> national purity. The influence gain is nice. 10% um, research speed is really nice. Increased food, edicts are better. Colony ship, eh, not too. I, I don't really, really want this one, to be honest. You're doing society research, you're governing. You give. Uh, Oh, that's nice. Normal user speed. Uh, claim of the cost. Uh, I would prefer this this one. But do I prefer it enough to spend two hundred influence? And this is also nice, by the way. Just flat out happiness and. Minerals, increased influence. Oh, this is also nice. I find it hard to choose. I'll abstain. Maria Septimus. 
Yeah, I'm fine with that. Previously governor of Earth. Uh, does that mean that I have lost a governor? Yes. Then let's get one. What happened to Anna, I wonder? Well. Increased food. Increased food. <laughs> All cheap. And very young. I'll go for the increased food. Because you know, I was... I was oh, I do, do need that. Oh, <laughs> I had a very, quite high level governor there, and now I don't. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. I do kind of want to build that, but I don't really have the energy credits to do that. Well, that was quick. Adaptable. Hmm. I approve. It's like in office, she shut down, and she's like, I've got this, guys. Science division. Well, you have to admit, through. that's that's the spirit. Automatic exploration. Very nice. Auxiliary fire control. Oh, it's an auxiliary slot. Chance to hit plus 5%. That's actually really cool. That's a bit late. So let's go with that. Of course, I will eventually want more planets. But more planets does uh, quickly science increase the cost of success. science. I see two planets already gives me 5%. Mm -hmm. Star blocker. Star base capacity. Fleet command in the plus 20. That's like this guy. Right? I think so. Mm -hmm. Larger maneuvers, yes. And this is naval capacity. To better protect my borders, I will go for star base capacity. Next month we'll have better cannons as well. Science division reports. That went from minus breakthrough. six to minus three. Fine by me. Go for that build speed. I guess I could go for basic strike craft. Oh, you know, point defense. At least some form of point defense would be very, very appreciated. So let's get better guns. Save. Uh, it's a bit, a little bit expensive. Ships refitted. Uh, it didn't influence the power at all. That's strange, to say the least. I don't think that's correct. System reconnaissance completed. Look, my blob at least looks more like a blob than your. Bl not, not at the moment because I also have like this, this hole here. But that's only temporary. I'm working on it. Is that something you can say? Hmm. No. Anomaly so. found. Uh, the, the, the small object in orbit. Sure. Research it. Construction complete. There we go. Now that looks like a proper blob. Oh. Um. Hello. All the things. <laughs> Encounter in Menok. And somehow they managed to they have they have to talk to us. Okay. Um This is pretty close. They have a natural wormhole. Interesting. But your blobs are ugly. You have already they they're really more keen on planetary expansion than I am. It's like I don't know. Does that mean I'm playing it poorly, or does that mean I'm playing it right? Hmm. Probably poorly. So let's take a first uh, look at the Empire of Balkazyata. They're bird people. They're xenophile in interest, so they don't hate us as much. I bring greetings from the Empress Krodyuk Kro I, the undisputed ruler of the Empire of blah blah blah. We wish to learn more about your species. Which martial techniques do your warriors employ, given your fascinating biology? Keep out of the way, we'll make you. Uh, I probably do want to rifle one of these, just to get like, a bit more influence. We are receiving this mission from the Skildari Confederacy. Um, 
pacifist xenophile spiritualist. <laughs> they are so dead. Ah, uh, I bring greetings from the revered elder Fubu Dolot, uh, the elected leader of the Sildari Confederacy. Are they? Uh, there's also a republic. Oh, uh, democracy. Um, no, yeah, that's that's the modern republic. I'm the more like old version of the republic. The elected leader of the the la la, we believe it is right of all sapient beings to fulfill their individual spiritual needs. And we trust that an enlightened species as yourself shares me. Yes, yes I do. All your spiritual needs is to be slaves. And our spiritual needs is to have slaves. So it works out perfectly. Keep out of our way. We will fight for rights. We will achieve unity. Do not stand in our way. That's what I will go for. Just to spice it up a little. And they're both brown. I hate brown. You're going to die so badly. So your secondary color is brown. Their secondary color is orange so that would have been the color of oh, that double orange because any hue of black is ignored they that would have been the color I would have had mm, I'm actually pretty happy I took this one instead because this looks a lot more like brown than just like orange are you a neighbor there we go. You are technically not a neighbor, so I cannot rival you yet. I think. Nope, you need to be a neighbor. That's new, by the way, that they have to be a neighbor. Okay, you are done building whatever it was you were building. I would very much like it to add another research station. And then I will probably just expand here. They close the borders. And they're close to borders. They're all close to the borders. Smart choice. Oh, they're going to expand here. Yeah, they are. The mummified remains of a single individual belonging to a previously unknown mammalian species have been found drifting in the hill almost over. Centauri 5A. The being is dressed in what appears to be a flight suit complete with a helmet. It may have been a fighter pilot ejected in some ancient battle, only to be forgotten and left behind. A study of the corpse that provides some interesting data. Ah, some society researchers. It's always nice, I suppose. They have some pretty good systems. Yeah, yeah, they do. I do kind of need more minerals. Um, I do need more minerals. Let's build that instead. Science is great, but being able to build stuff is also quite useful. You know what? Let's actually stop it at this point in time and space. There's also one color because black. Yeah. Well, it makes sense. Space is kind of dark, so. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time. And until then, farewell.